Yes, good morning, Africa. Good morning, Uganda. You're watching your number one Pan-African station, which is TV Africa, and with your host, Jingo Kale, as usual. Yes, there's a lot that is going on in Uganda. Yes, people are just waiting for the swearing in of the president, Yori Kagutum Seveni. As other things go on, people are saying, no, 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 he's not going to swear in. Swearing in is not going to happen. You should not, you should not allow him swear in, you know. But what I have to tell you as a Pan-African, as a Ugandan, as, a, 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 as TV Africa, we should not think that the Western world will solve our problems. Don't allow the hand that cut you out blood, that did a lot about your life, that killed your ancestors, feed you with food. It will be not food. Let's not think of issues that belong to Africa, that Uganda are, that are pressing Ugandans, that anyone outside Uganda, the outside world, will be able to solve our problems. Let's handle our issues as Ugandans, as Africans. Let's think of uniting Africa. Let's think of fighting together for the better Africa, not thinking that the Western world will come out and solve our problems as Africans. It will not happen. They also need some, they will come like as if they're helping us, but they're not helping us at all. They need something from us. They give you and take, it's a give and take thing. They'll come thinking that they're fighting for you. They're fighting for your, for your democracy and all that, but they're not. They only need something from you, my brother. So let's handle our issues as Africans. Let's try to fight as Africans. Let's do everything as Africans. Let's not think of the Western world coming, giving us drugs, giving us uh, building our roads, giving us, you know, selecting us leaders, giving us the leaders they want. No, this should not happen. We can choose our own leaders as Africans. We can choose our own leaders as Ugandans, but not thinking about the Western world supporting. Yes, we need support from the Western world. How long shall we stay beggars from the Western world? For how long are we going to stay saying they should come and rescue us? The white man will not rescue you and leave you alive. The white man will not rescue you and not take something. They'll always rescue you, thinking they're rescuing you, but they're taking something. They need something from you. Let's try to fight as Africans for anything that we want, for the same cause, but we should do it as Africans, not thinking that the Western world will help us in any way. The Lord has been going on from, oh, you saw Bill Gates. Bill Gates has, uh, has um, uh, he's helping kids, he's helping this, he's uh, donating that. But what are those donations? Are they helping Africans? Is it the way to go? <coughs> Excuse me. We should think beyond the box. Let's think as Africans. Because we saw it, history repeats itself. We saw it, we saw these people taking us for slavery. We saw these people bringing, bringing uh, the GMO to Africa. We saw a lot of things have been happening. And you believe they don't love us, they don't love us all because they know what we are able to do. They know the strengths, where the strength lies in us. They know we can fight. They know they, they need raw materials from Africa. It's main. They need a lot from us. So they try to find a way of controlling us. They try to find a way of controlling the population. They try to find a way of handling our brains and making us inferior. So we have to stand up as Africans. We can build our roads. We can have the medication. We can build our hospitals. We can, everything can be done with us, by us, from us as Africans. Let's not think of these people giving us guns, giving us this, giving us that. We can stand as Africans for what we want. We can stand for us Africans to build our roads. We can stand on, Af on our feet and make our, our, you know, because we are the genesis of humanity. We are the genesis of, you know, development. Do you know that civilization started from here, Africa? 
let's not think of that everything that comes from the Western world is gold. Let's not think that everything that comes from the Western world is for us, is for the better of Africans. I really thank everyone that watches TV Africa that has changed in the mindset and known that, you know, I really appreciate even those ones who make, who make Vaseline's, the oils, they've started putting on black pictures, black uh, uh, portraits on what they produce. It's very bad to believe that you can't manage, you can't handle. You've seen people producing a lot of things in Africa, in Uganda in particular. But your fellow Ugandan can't buy it because they feel it's not enough, it's not good, it's not of quality. Everything that is produced here, you find Ugandans feel it's not of quality, it's not good enough. But is it right? If you can't support your fellow Ugandan, if you can't support yourself, let's stand firm as Ugandans. Because we have it. We have the land. We have the raw materials. We have everything that can help us stand firm and fight any problem that we have. Thank you for watching TV Africa. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is TV Africa Uganda. Just subscribe there, and you'll have to follow everything that we give you as TV Africa. I've been the one and only Jingo Kale. Thank you for watching. Ashe. Thank you for viewing. For more content on Pan Africanism, subscribe on our YouTube channel, TV Africa Uganda.